Morning legend, Coach Neil from Black Dog Brotherhood. Time is just before 5.30 in the a.m. Just wrapped up morning cardio, banged out about 6Ks. Absolutely fucking drenched right now, and it's time to uh, worship at the Iron Church. Um, I recently had somebody ask me, how do I get myself up so early every morning? How do I get up at 4.30 every morning and force myself to train for you know an hour, hour and a half, sometimes two hours every single morning? Um, and one of the things that most people don't realize is that there is a huge, huge difference between wants and needs. I hear so many people on coaching calls, oh, I want to lose weight. I want to put on more muscle. I want to feel better. I don't want to be depressed anymore. The problem is when you want something, you very rarely fucking actually go out and get it. It's about need. It's about needing something. And it's about needing it so bad that nothing else in your life matters. For a lot of the guys who actually choose to jump on coaching with Black Dog Brotherhood, they've hit that point in their life where they need to make a change. They need to fix themselves because they feel like they are at rock bottom and they've got no choices left. And the sad, the sad fact of the matter is for people to make that change, it's almost like there has to be some sort of fucking ridiculous you know, catalyst, some sort of ridiculous activating event in their life for them to actually turn around and for that want to turn into a need. They wait until something happens that's so fucking bad that they have no choice but to start seeking out change. They wait till the doctor tells them, you're going to fucking have a heart attack if you don't start training. You're going to fucking die if you don't start eating properly. They wait until they're in that place where they feel like if they don't make a change, they're actually going to fucking kill themselves. And it's fucking ridiculous because you can make the change at any time. You just have to need it more than you want it. You have to need it like oxygen. You have to need it like air. For me... I've been on both sides of the coin and I know that for myself, those mornings that I choose to skip a workout and have a sleep in, it fucks with the rest of my day and it fucks with my head. For me, I need to train. For me, getting up at 4.30 and training for an hour and a half, that's, that's not the issue. The issue for me is when I don't do it and how I feel when I don't do it. Same thing when I fucking, uh, you know, when I have a cheat on my diet. I did just the other night, actually. I fucking uh, had a bit of a cheat on my diet, had some uh, dinner with the missus that was fucking way outside of the scope of what I'd normally eat, and my night was fucked. I could barely sleep, my guts was hurting. And I know for me that the regret and the fucking discomfort that I felt from that that meal outweighed the benefits of actually eating it. Um, So it's about need versus want. So if you're telling yourself, oh, I want to feel better, I want to make a change, I want to lose weight, I want to go to the gym, you're not gonna fucking do it, okay? There's no real reason for you to do it. You need to do it. And you have to have that need inside of you. So right now, if you know that you're one of those people who's saying, I want to do this and I want to do that, stop saying, I want to do it. Start saying, I need, I need to do it. I need to lose weight. I need to start training, okay? Nobody's gonna do it for you. You have to make the change yourself. And there's no fucking point waiting until you're at absolute fucking rock bottom. There's no point waiting until you've got some sort of external motivation in the form of, a doctor telling you you're gonna die or your kids saying they don't want you to drop them off at school anymore because they're embarrassed by you or your partner saying that they're not fucking sexually attracted to you. There's no point waiting till you hit that point. There's no point waiting till you feel like you're gonna kill yourself to make a change. Make the fucking change now and stop it before it happens. You wouldn't wait till your car breaks down before changing the oil. You change the oil to prevent the fucking breakdown in the first place. And that's what you need to do. You need to change the fucking oil before the breakdown occurs. All right, guys, time to go worship at the Iron Altar. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you soon.